Hey. <laughs> How long have you been having the knee issue for? Um, years. Um, did it happen? Did it start traumatically? Did you fall and twist it or hurt it? No, it just started getting worse and worse, and then I felt like I didn't feel any pain. It just felt like something was wrong. Mm. Are there activities that will provoke it, make it worse? Yes. Now I started getting pain whenever I like squat or do lunges, anything like that. That's when my knee starts hurting. Right away or the next day? Right away. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you've done what for this in the past? Um, nothing really. Just iced it, um, physical therapy. That didn't really work. You went to the doctor, they mm -hmm. sent you to PT? Yes. And did the doctor, what did the doctor say to you about this type of injury? He said I had patellar tendonitis mm -hmm. and he said that my kneecaps were too high, mm. more than normal, so that I was always going to have issues with my knee. You just stuck with them. Mm -hmm. You're always going to have them. Yeah. It was going to be a problem for forever, pretty much. Got mm -hmm. it. Does it create any other type of pain? Do you get back pain ever? Um, no, not really. Mm -hmm. How about like dancing or anything like that. I only bring it up because you might have mentioned this to me in the past. Yeah, well, when I was dancing, I hurt my back. So. Okay, so your dance moves, they get pretty aggressive? Is that? I guess so. <laughs> yeah, kind of. All right, and that can create back problems, mm -hmm. but most of this stems from the knee. You have, does it go into both knees? Um, it started with both knees, like they both crack and they just make weird mm. noises when mm -hmm. I bend them. Mm -hmm. but only the right one hurts. Currently. Mm -hmm. What does the pain intensity get up to? Like on a scale of one to 10, and think about in the last month at its worst, what does it get up to? It's worst, that would be at the gym, after workouts, so that'd be like an eight. An eight out of 10 after the workout, mm -hmm. and that's when you'll ice, mm -hmm. and then how does it feel the next day? Mm, kind of normal. Okay. Really hurt so, so the icing really helps, mm -hmm. but the squats, which are, uh, are the workout, but mm -hmm. you told me squats, that actually provokes make it worse, which is a really natural organic thing that you need to be able to do. Mm -hmm. And you also said you want to get into some long distance running too? Yeah. Okay, you got some races planned? Uh, a mud run. Um, okay, any other thing beside a mud run? Um, not right now. I want to look into others, like the Joshua Tree one. That's right. I was like, I thought you told me something else. Yeah, the yeah. Joshua Tree. We haven't like actually planned it. How long is that run? Uh, I don't know. I didn't even look into it. Really? You just so told me about it, and I was like, it. Oh my god, that's awesome! All yeah. Right. Just want to know how resilient we need this uh, these knees to be, yeah. because your doctor's already given you the diagnosis of you're just stuck with knee problems for the mm -hmm. rest of your life. So that's obviously discouraging. But let's see. Did he say anything about your gait, the way that you walk? Did anything stand out there? No. All right. He didn't ask me anything. He just asked me where it hurt, and I showed him, and then that was it, hmm. pretty much. Okay, well, I think there's definitely a lot open there to be at least assessed and looked into. Mm -hmm. um, today, we'll check your gait, we'll check your posture, we'll check your alignment, we'll check the mechanics of the knee, and then we'll go from there, okay? We are going to check your full spine, too. Okay. I think that's important, just looking at your overall posture. Mm -hmm. Maybe some things we can improve there as yeah. well, and I think it'll only help your knee. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's get to it. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and go face down. Okay. okay. So you said your right knee you have more pain? Mm hmm Now, one of the first things I notice, and you can see this, actually, if we come into view above here, is... You walk pigeon toed, I think. I can tell it immediately just by the way you're presenting here, but more so on the left. Can you see the foot angles in right here? You feel like you're just relaxing comfortably here? Yeah. Okay? So that just feels normal to you, right? Mm -hmm. And that right leg is actually shorter too. Not Most people don't actually truly have an anatomically short leg. It's just something's misaligned almost always the pelvis and low back and then it gets longer in this position so you definitely have a pelvic imbalance there and that will lead to knee problems for sure okay does that cause pain into the knee at all no how about compression into the low back no 
Jerry, you still out on that one? Okay. How about that saying? No. Okay, if I get right onto the lateral side of the joint there, that one, was that a hurt or is that a tickle hurt, hypersensitive? Or <laughs> how would a, you? Yeah, like a tickle hurt. But it's not as bad on this side? No. Okay, how about, I'm gonna go into the medial side of the joint here. That's okay there? Yeah. Another side, relax that. See, everything wants to go out lateral on this right side. What did you feel right there? I Was it hurt, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right when I opened the joint completely, you felt it right in this area yeah. here? Yeah. Now, we're not even on the kneecaps right now, so for patellar tendonitis to truly be the problem, we're not even, we're nowhere near the patella. Let's just check, we're gonna check this suspension system here. You're gonna bend your knee, push against my hand right here. Push, bring this one up, push. That one's actually weaker. Do you feel that weakness? Yeah. Okay, did it cause any pain? No. Okay. Now what I'm gonna have you do is twist your foot out and you're gonna bring this in and you're gonna push your foot towards this side of your leg. Go ahead and do that now. Hold. Okay, and then the exact opposite. Twist your foot in, bring it out, and push towards this side of your leg. Hold. That feels pretty good. Let me test it. Take this side one more time. Hold. Does it cause more pain or weakness on that side when I do that? Weakness, yeah. yeah. What's more sensitive on the ITs, here or here? About the same? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and take a straight right leg and lift it up as high as you can. So the entire leg. Okay, go ahead and relax. And now the other side. Wow, what do you feel on that one? What do you feel different? I feel the feel left. Way higher. Way higher, right? Yeah. I mean, that wasn't even uh, yeah, close to a difference there. So your weakness travels all the way through the hip, goes down the knee, both the medial and lateral side of the joint, and the upper part of your femur there. And then you have this weak left hamstring. So let's check the glutes here. You're going to bend your knee, lift your leg up high, hold that. I'm going to push against. I mean, that's awesome. So this hamstring is weak, but the glute is actually pretty solid. You're gonna bend this one. Let it bend, can it bend any further? There you go, and then lift up as high as you can. Push, hold, nothing, <laughs> yeah. okay. So weak glute, weak hamstring, medial side of that hamstring. and you have more taut musculature on the left side, probably to compensate for all the weakness on this side. So your pelvis is, and lumbar spine is substantially misaligned. Can you feel how loose and relaxed versus taut? Do you feel that difference? Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay, and then your posture. We got some things to work on up here. Where's it more tender? Do you feel that spot there? Yeah. How about that spot there? The top one, yeah. More tender? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then relax your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Your neck. Which is more tender? C6 or, or this side right here? That one. Okay, so you see how one problem is leading to all these imbalances for your yeah. spine. Okay, go ahead and stand up. All right, how are you feeling? <laughs> this is your back from behind, and you're gonna see your pelvis is actually in pretty good alignment here but your back, especially starting right between L3 and L4, the bone is actually right here at L3, 
is twisting and lateral bending there. So that's a misalignment there. That's why a lot of that musculature is off in this area. And it really important neurologically, the nerves coming that the spine is designed to protect here. So here's the nerves that are designed to protect. When those are misaligned, you can put abnormal pressure on the disc and the nerve. And those nerves right here are responsible for a lot of the stirrup muscles of the knee. So like the, the sartorius, the gracilis, um, uh, even the quadriceps, which is just below it at L4. So we're gonna do a couple more tests, okay? Go ahead and lie on your back, and then we're gonna take a look at your gates. Go face up. Oh, on my back, yeah. sorry. Everybody gets that <laughs> wrong. Okay, push up against my hand, resist. Any pain on that? No. Turn this in, push up. Was that painful? No. And now we're gonna turn out, push up here. How about that one? Does that one feel weaker? Yeah, Can it was you feel weaker. the difference there? Yeah, for sure. So remember you walk, well, we'll come back to that. When you're lying down, it looks like you walk more pigeon-toed. Mm -hmm. Push up here, good. Turn in, push up here, turn out, push up here. That one's super strong. Mm -hmm. Felt the difference, yeah? yeah? yeah. We're going to check these TFL muscles. Sometimes when people walk pigeon-toed, it's because their TFLs are not engaging properly and getting good external rotation with their glute medius to the femur down to the knee. So what you're going to do is push your foot up and out this way. Go ahead and do that now. Hold. And that's really weak, right? Okay? That one. Hold. And you could try all you want. I could tell oh you're tough, gosh. but mm -mm, that's yeah. not holding. So I'm gonna have you stand up. Let's take a look at your gait. And we're going to observe. Just walk up and down here. Okay. Nobody's watching, you just walk <laughs> natural. Okay, I'm trying. And let's... Am I doing it? Yeah, you're doing great, but don't look down. Okay. If you look at her feet, you're gonna see that her Yeah, yeah. So we'll keep going. So pigeon toe is her TFLs and glute mediuses are not engaging properly. So the foot should, the feet should swing out like this every time you walk forward. Uh, keep going this way and maybe you can see it. Her feet, especially on the left, it's really stands on the left. Her feet, instead of going like this, it goes like this, like that. And so that just puts way because this area is not engaging, it also puts more um, a lengthening stress around there, and then you develop these tendonitis in the uh, patellar tendon. And then your MD says, oh, you got knee problems for the rest of your life. But really, I think it's just, you have to assess and diagnose these mechanical errors, and then this is something you don't have to live with. We just have to fix those stressors. And you can do squats and crazy dance moves and, and do great. Awesome. Okay. Um, we're gonna go do an adjustment now. You ready? Yes. Okay. Come on down. Okay. Face down. Face down, please. Okay. Go ahead and stop. Did you need anything? I need to draw my phone. Oh, it's on my phone. Okay, and commence. Okay, we're gonna come back to this knee. We're gonna save that for last. What we're going to focus on right now is lining up the low back all the way up to the neck. Okay, remember that guy right there? Okay, relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Very nice. Great. And just breathe big. How'd that feel, Catherine? Good. That was like a very loud to me. That was, a, <laughs> that was a very loud noise. Yeah. It's very close to your ears. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now this next adjustment we're gonna, it's gonna help balance out the leg length here, okay? We'll probably have to do it in two adjustments. Lie on this side, facing me right over here. And you're gonna feel a little stretch and then just a good impulse here. Oh, there geez. you go. <laughs> that was great, you did great. Go ahead and lie on the other side facing me. You doing okay? Yeah. All right, great. Yeah. And this one we wanna drive up a little higher. Awesome, great job. Let's lie on your back. You're doing perfect. You're gonna bend your knees. Okay, so with all the pelvic distortion that we're taking out right now, there's a third joint that's intimately related to these hip joints. See how sensitive yes. they are? Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'll try not to pick on you too much, but you also have the pubic joint in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna anchor these deep core muscles just by pulling your tummy in. So go ahead and pull it in like that, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna squeeze your knees together. Good. And I can feel those pelvic muscles, again, like the gracilis, it actually crosses the knee joint, and it connects to the pubic joint, and those areas are very weak right now. Like, mm -hmm. you could feel that. Did that feel super stable to you, or did it feel Not more, really. right? Yeah. So, I'm gonna have you pull one more time, mm -hmm. and squeeze together. And see, each time we do it, it's getting a little stronger. That time I felt it, which means it's starting to acclimate to that new alignment. So are we okay? We can do one more? Yeah. Okay, piece of cake now, right? Yeah, Pull your tummy in and squeeze. Good, and relax. Okay, great job. Now the upper back and the low back, they're all important. The main contributor to good balance and alignment of your spine starts in the neck, though. Feel a gentle stretch of your neck with an impulse. Oh my gosh. Awesome. That was so loud. <laughs> Great job. That was pretty loud, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just gonna pull the shoulders back and down and just take a deep breath in. Not only are the, the knees, the hips are all gonna be working better together, but you're gonna be standing taller, walking with more grace, more efficiency, more resilience. It's all gonna be coming together well. Okay, right there. Whoa, very good. relax there for a little bit. I just want to see if just what we did is starting to strengthen up, mm -hmm. turning some lights on down to the legs, uh, the, all the extremity muscles. Pull tight here, squeeze tight here. Hold. That is 100% stronger right there. I mean, that is way better. We didn't even really do much here. We focused on the neck mm -hmm. that last one. Okay, drop these down here. Pull your foot up and out against my hand. Hold, 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 hold. Okay, you get about a 20, 30% improvement. Not perfect, but that's okay. Relax there. I feel you trying, but hold on. Just relax, turn it in and push it out right there. Hold. Okay, that turned on for about a second and then it was like, Meh, I don't have much left after <laughs> that, but that's okay. Sensitive spots here. These are your TFLs. Mm -hmm. Those are those guys that are not turning on right now. So we're just gonna grind those out, breathe through it. You're doing yeah. great. <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead and go tummy down. That wasn't so bad, right? And for me, it was easy. For you, maybe it was kind of yeah. bad, but yeah, okay. Okay, let me know sensitivity changes down here. Just be honest, because if, if it's not getting better, we're gonna get it better anyway, so. That lateral side, better or same? Better. Medial side still feels kind of nasty to me. Yeah. You feel it. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. 
Okay, so you're just gonna feel a gentle traction here, okay? And then a little impulse. Oh, good. Okay, and just take some deep breaths. Right now, your toes are looking a lot better, just the position of the toes. So it's coming, coming together. Now, I wanna see how these muscles here have improved. You're gonna go ahead and lift your right leg up as high as you can. Okay, it's good. I can still feel some apprehension, but let's lift up your other side. Yeah, so there's definitely, it got already, I mean, halfway there. So you're, but half is good, but if we can get more, we're gonna try to get more. So go ahead and lie on your back. Okay. We're just gonna get some traction on that meniscus and guidance through these tibial plateaus here. This is more of just a knee traction. So you're gonna feel me traction it out and give some external guidance there. And for you, it's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. Let that go, good. And you're gonna feel a traction through that hip. Ooh, very <laughs> nice. Okay. Bend your knees, pull your tummy tight. See everything where you keep trying to reground that pulley system. So spread your knees out a little wider this time. It's a bit more challenging. Squeeze here, hold. And it doesn't matter, it's rock solid, right? Mm -hmm. okay, okay, good. Go ahead and stand up. And let's do one more postural adjustment. So I have a seat right here. Interlace your fingers behind your neck. Bring your chin down and relax. Good, and there wasn't much left. That yeah. was awesome. Okay, go ahead and stand up. Let me just have you march in place a little bit to shake it out. So come on over here and face me. Let's get a good look at you. Shake it. No crazy dance moves though yet. We'll get them. <laughs> Let's go for a little walk, okay? I feel different. <laughs> So when you say different, like how do you, um, how so? Like lighter, mm -hmm. like weird. Like, <laughs> lighter, yeah, weird is perfectly lighter. acceptable. Am I still walking? Like yeah, that? keep walking. Uh, for a couple of reasons, uh, keep going. We want to allow your body some time to acclimate to the new changes. And I want you to try something. It's gonna feel a little unnatural, but it'll help you receive the adjustment better. Take a smaller stride, but a wider stride. Almost like you're walking, if there's a white line that was four inches uh, wide, you don't want to touch that white line. So the left foot stays on the left side, the right foot stays on the right side. Just like that. It's gonna feel unnatural. Chin up though, mm -hmm. swing your arms. It's really important you swing those arms. That'll help the, the natural gait progression. That is, <laughs> as weird as it feels, now your body is starting to capture those new mechanical errors that we want them to capture. So we'll do that a couple more times. Chin up. Am I still doing it? Yeah, you're doing really well. You can see when she keeps the foot wide, then it allows that swinging mechanism to start to, to figure itself out. So, okay, one more walk. Chin up, big smile. And back. <laughs> this is weird. No, yeah, you're doing great. Okay, that was really, really awesome. You did good with that. Um, so just listen to your body as you're walking about the day uh, as to what's changing and what's not changing. I think the ultimate test will be when you do go to the gym and try to challenge your knees. But at the same time, some of those mechanical errors, you, you've got some old muscle memory, because how many years did you, have you been dealing with the knee problems? Um, I'd say like 10. Yeah, so more than, more than a month, definitely in several mm -hmm. years, 
Your body's got some getting used to. So the more you walk today, the better your body will change and receive that, okay? Okay. All right. Hey, you did great. Thank you. Great job. Okay. All right.